Oh. Io ti ho un tuo occhio perdere. Manco io. Allora la soluzione si trova. Fidati. Sicily, Italy, summer of 1982. While the entire nation is immersed in World Cup fever, an event that brought Italians' hearts together, two young men, Johnny and Nino, find love amidst the chaos of football matches. However, this is not an ordinary love, it is a passionate love that transcends time and space. Johnny, a shy and introverted young man, and Nino, an extroverted and charismatic boy, cross paths by chance in a setting that seems hostile to their feelings. As they get to know each other better, the bond between them grows stronger with each passing day. Their love is a burning flame that blazes in the beautiful Sicilian landscape. While Johnny and Nino explore the uncharted territory of love, they also face prejudice from a traditionalist society that cannot comprehend or accept the depth of their relationship. The delicate story of Stranitsa di Amuri by Bep Fiorello, was inspired by a tragic event in Sicily in 1980, the murder in Jar. A fake suicide committed in Jar served as a wake-up call for a wave of sexual discrimination and became one of the cornerstones of the Italian gay rights movement. On October 31, 1980, Giorgio, aged 25, and Antonio, aged 15, who had been missing for two weeks, were found dead, holding hands, both shot. The two young men had been persecuted and stigmatized for a long time due to their relationship. Although the people of Jar maintained a wall of silence, the case was considered a suicide. A note was found next to their bodies, which read, We are leaving this world because we can no longer bear these injustices, these abuses. The crime scene clearly indicated that it was not a suicide, said Bep Fiorello. Although the double murder went unpunished, many people never forgot what happened. I was very impressed when I read an article about this crime. And, as a Sicilian, I also felt somehow guilty, corresponsible for that mentality that led to the cover-up of this story, Fiorello said in an interview with the Italian press. The film came about not because I wanted to be a filmmaker, but precisely to tell this story, which I reimagined. I wasn't interested in making a film of denunciation. I hope this film is an ode to life and freedom. Stranitsa di Amuri premiered in Italian cinemas on March 23, 2023.